is your diamond insight for tonight of the rejection of the Zamek draft bill. No one should mistake the rejection of the Zambia Media Council Zamek draft bill by some investors in the journalism and media industry as a sign of being against organized operation of the media. Media owners who gathered in Lusaka have the interest of the profession at heart and this is the reason they are running their businesses. What they are opposed to, however, is regulation which will make the operation of the media industry difficult. Media statutory self-regulation as proposed in the Zamek draft bill is one such piece of legislation which will make the work of journalists and other media workers difficult. The law targets individual journalists and other media workers for punishment when perceived to be wrong. We appreciate the work of the Media Liaison Committee, which has been spearheading self-regulation over the years, but the path they have agreed to in the area of sanctions will destroy the media industry in our country going forward. The provision of legal punitive sanctions in the media statutory self-regulation is a danger to the freedom of expression. We believe that if those media men and women came together to regulate ethical conduct through a council, good things would come out of our profession. This is not to say that all media organizations should not be answerable to an ethical code. They have their own editorial policies and self-agenda setting mechanism. Zambia is indeed a democracy and promotes freedom of association and therefore those who oppose a press council are free to be answerable to the many laws which breach freedom of expression. But rather than few media men and women fighting for statutory regulation, it is important for government to conduct an evaluation of the media environment which operates on the goodwill of the president. Over the years, successive governments have failed to enact the access to information law. Although the access to information law is not a panacea to misinformation and disinformation, making the law available leaves no room for guesswork in media operation. Therefore, instead of stakeholders only demanding excellent work, they should also ensure the provision of an environment conducive for gathering of information processing and dissemination. The world has gone digital, with many players of different professions participating, a reason regulatory body is necessary. Our view is that Zamek should be founded under the freedom of expression and freedom of the press under our supreme law of the land, which is the Constitution. It is the council which should invite membership rather than having a statutory body to force participants into the group. After more than 50 years of our independence, practitioners know what is best for them and statutory regulation with punitive sanction definitely is not one of them. It will be a grave mistake to have an act of parliament to regulate how media personnel operate instead of allowing them to find their path in self-regulation. We see so many examples where the heavy-handedness of governments operate to regulate the media and one such way is to put an act of parliament to regulate how journalists speak or write their stories because such an act is easily amended and manipulated through a simple SI by a minister. Therefore, the rejection of media statutory self-regulation in its current form is in order. The media owners should quickly bring to life the alternative self-regulation mechanism. We call upon the Ministry of Media and Information as well as the Ministry of Justice to put squeaking brakes onto this current bill and go into a consultative mode with the voices of media owners who seek dialogue and the proper way forward in respecting our supreme law of the land in the constitution that upholds freedom of expression.